So let's start off by talking about and explaining what a network actually is. So a network is a collection of resources interconnected by uh, an infrastructure that allows us to share those resources amongst various users or uh, between locations. Uh, so in particular, we're showing here uh, a corporate headquarters that's connected to a remote office with uh, mobile users connecting and uh, either small office, home office. Also, uh, you'll see the acronym thrown around SOHO, small office, home office, uh, otherwise known as a telecommuter, usually. Um, all of these interconnected together so that we can perform a function of some kind, uh, whether that's uh, sharing database information for a corporation or doing accounting for the same corporation or uh, figuring out where resources need to go for a military application. A network is really a exchange of information from user to user or device to device, even without user interaction so that we can accomplish a particular goal. Now, another thing that's in here on this slide is we have a cloud in the center labeled Internet. Uh, oftentimes, I'll use a cloud in my diagrams to explain a part of the network that we don't necessarily have direct control over. Now, we, in this particular course, you're going to be learning how to build a small network and how to set up and maintain the network. But there are going to be times we have to connect to the cloud. Now, the large cloud, being the big, bad Internet, uh, is definitely a collection of a, a large multitude of networks. Oftentimes, we'll put the cloud and we'll say it's a service provider or a wide area network, in which case it represents a single service provider. Again, the cloud perspective of it is that we don't have control over it. We're simply sending data in and hoping that data comes out like we sent it some other place. So that's the idea of the cloud here. Um, the design mentalities we run into based on the different types of areas we have or, or locations within our networks also matter. Uh, the setup for a corporate headquarters where we have 10,000 people is completely different than the setup we might have for a small office home office or you know, a mobile user, which is really a user that is a trusted individual within our network but they're using an untrusted network, such as a hotel network or uh, maybe a coffee shop hotspot. Uh, so these type of these type of things all come into come into play when we're building our network and designing how all of our different users are going to be attaching to and sharing the resources necessary to perform the functions that we're building the network for. That brings us to how these devices are going to actually be physically attached within our network. So there are certain devices that we need to identify within our network, uh, in particular uh, routers and switches and other end user uh, equipment, such as servers or, uh, as we're showing here, printers, laptops, and, uh, and PCs. As far as our end user equipment, we're going to be connecting via a network interface card of some kind. And usually today, uh, given the, the prevalence of uh, Ethernet connections, uh, usually an RJ45 cable. Uh, so we're going to attach our end user machines and, and even our servers to an Ethernet switch of some kind. Now, whether it's a uh, lower end switch running 10 megabit Ethernet all the way up to a high speed switch running, you know, multiple bundles of, of 10 gigabit Ethernet. Um, we're still talking about the same technology here. A switch, and we're going to get into how this actually works, uh, used to be called a bridge. And we used to bridge Ethernet from one side of a network to another side of the network where we had large collision domains, uh, uh, domains at which we had you know, hubs or, or other technology that would share the media. In the case of a switch, each port on the switch is uh, individual for that particular device that's attached to it. So each device plugging in should get uh, 100 megabit per second if it's an end station, maybe even gigabit uh, as we start moving forward and ramping up our speeds, uh, being uh, the speeds available to us at our end stations. As far as a router is concerned, uh, a router within the network is, is also a big part of what we're going to be talking about here, its ability to control broadcasts and control uh, information as it passes to and from the network. All of these devices do have to be interconnected together in such a way that allows us to communicate. 